Hi everyone, October 29th is celebrated as World Stroke Day to create awareness about brain stroke. Uh, I am Dr. Vikram Udev, Director and Clinical Lead Intervention Neurology, Narayana Group. And here is um, with me my colleague, Dr. Anush Rangaraj, Consultant Intervention Neurologist. We will be discussing about brain stroke. As you know, according to World Stroke Organization, one in four people will have brain stroke in their lifetime. Good news is that it is a treatable condition and a preventable condition. Anush, what is brain stroke? According to World Health Organization, brain stroke is defined as focal neurological deficit which lasts for more than 24 hours. So we will be further discussing about the stroke. So can you, sir, can you tell me about the stroke, types of stroke? Yeah, basically brain stroke has two types. Majority of patients it is ischemic stroke where blood flow to the brain is blocked. Okay, it accounts for 85% of the stroke. The second type of stroke is brain hemorrhage which accounts to around 15% of the stroke. So now you should be knowing what are the symptoms of stroke. So Dr. Anush, how a people can identify the symptoms of stroke because as you know Cardiac, uh, when they have a heart attack, they will have chest pain. We should know that brain attack is a painless condition. So how people should remember the symptoms of stroke? Yeah, as rightly pointed out, brain stroke doesn't cause any pain. It can be easily remembered with the mnemonic B fast. B stands for balance issues. E stands for eye problems, that is vision blurring or double vision. F stands for facial droop, And uh, A stands for uh, arm weakness and uh, yes uh, stands for speech problems and uh, t stands for time to rush to a emergency facility that is stroke ready hospital uh, sir ca can you let us all know regarding the treatment of stroke sir brain stroke can be treated uh, if you come to the stroke ready hospital early so since more than 20 years there is a clot buster injection if you come to a stroke ready hospital we can give that clot buster injection if there is a blockage in the blood vessel of the brain Okay, and if there is a large occlusion of the blood flow to the brain, if the artery is occluded, large vessel is occluded, then we can do a pinhole procedure where we put a small tube from the leg artery inside the brain artery and remove the clot. This is called mechanical thrombectomy. Earlier, the mechanical thrombectomy was uh, we could do up to six and a, six hours time window. Now, recently, since few years. The window has been extended up to 24 hours, which is a huge time window. So once the brain is damaged, we can't regenerate. The brain won't regenerate or we can't do brain transplantation. So that's why it is important that we should save the brain cells. If large amount of brain is damaged, it is irreversible. If small amount of brain is damaged, the remaining part of the brain will take over the function and the recovery will be faster. So these are all landmark treatments or management which is available for brain stroke. So don't worry, even brain stroke can be prevented. So how we can prevent brain strokes? So the prevention of stroke, uh, first uh, the general measures are everybody uh, is supposed to uh, take less amount of sugar, less salt and uh, they, can, they should eat a healthy diet. Apart from that, whenever the patient has a stroke, they, they should uh, undergo regular uh, master health checkup. And uh, when a patient has stroke, we will be doing uh, certain investigations uh, we will, to find out why the patient has a stroke. So each type of stroke has to be treated in a different manner. So one of the around 25% of the patients who have stroke will have a blockage in the uh, uh, neck vessels, which provide uh, blood supply to the brain. So those type of uh, neck blockage has to be addressed uh, either by uh, putting a stent or by operating there. Uh, sir, uh, can you let us know about the brain hemorrhage? Brain hemorrhage, the, there is a rupture of blood vessel inside the brain. Most of the patients, it is because of the high blood pressure. So it is important uh, parameter that we need to control our blood pressure. And also you should know about brain aneurysm. Brain aneurysm is there is balloon like swelling in the blood vessel to the brain which can rupture. So according to study done in US, one in 50 people will have brain aneurysm.
and it is a preventable cause for brain hemorrhage. So if you have a family history of brain hemorrhage, in those patients it is important to do a screening for the brain aneurysm. And also if a brain aneurysm ruptures, it can be treated by pinhole procedure without opening the skull. We put a small tube inside the brain from the leg artery inside the brain artery and we put coils. In some cases we put a stent called flow diverters to prevent the rupture. So these are all the new techniques which have come by doing neuro intervention or intervention neurology procedures. These are all pinhole procedures. Uh, if a patient comes to us uh, before it ruptures, usually we do the procedure and uh, in next day patient can be discharged and they can go for their work. So this is how the technology has evolved and brain hemorrhage can be prevented. Brain stroke is a treatable and preventable condition. We need to identify the risk factor for brain stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, cardiac condition and these needs to be controlled. Also, if you see someone having stroke, so please rush the patient to the stroke ready hospital where we can give all the treatment faster because every second counts. Thank you.